Listen, sweetheart, there is a method to the madness. Regardless of how chaotic it looks, regardless of how unsettling you feel, regardless of how it feels like you just got a lot going on in your life and sometimes you don't know if you're coming or going, sometimes you're blowing with the wind, regardless of what it feels like, there is a method to the madness. Do not get discouraged right now. Do not give up right now. Do not feel like you just don't know what is going on in your life. And even if you do feel like that, baby, just do not give up. There is a method to the madness. So y'all listen, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you all so much for your birthday love. Y'all, y'all showing out the comments, just hitting a thumbs up. Um, some of you sent cash apps, like I, I'm so grateful y'all. Thank you for your continuous donations through cash app, PayPal, um, super thanks, all of that. Y'all, I appreciate y'all so much and I love y'all. Like I absolutely love y'all. Please know that, know that, know that. Welcome to all of you that are just now joining the family. Listen, over here, we are growing daily and we are now on our 21 day of healing, deliverance and breakthrough. So y'all, let's get straight into the video. There is a method to the madness. What is a method? Method is a particular form of procedure for accomplishing or approaching something, especially a systematic or established one. Let me read it again. Method is a particular form of procedure for accomplishing or approaching something, especially a systematic or established one. A method to the madness that you may see happening around you. A method to why they betrayed you. A method to why they talked about you. A method to why they keep coming up against you. You feel like that. That's it. That's all. But God says there's a method to that. I come so that you may have life and have it more abundantly. God says I come so that I can give you strength. God says these things are happening to you so that you can get wisdom. So that you'll know how to operate. So that you'll know how to move around these snakes and these fakes. Listen, there is a method to the madness. Is there's a method to why you have to go through what you're going through. It's only going to make you better and stronger. Don't give up right now. Listen, y'all, let's talk about the procedure. The method of this thing, it says a particular form of procedure for accomplishing or approaching something. What is the procedure? The procedure is the process of this thing. We always talking about trust the process. That's the procedure in which God chooses to take you. This road, y'all, is narrow, but there's still room for you to go left, right, front, back. And sometimes what we feel like is a delay, we feel like that's our deny spot. And it's not. It's just a delay. It's not a denial. It's just not right now, not yet. That's it. Even though this path is narrow, there's still room for you to make arrows. There's still room for God to take you left, right, front, back. And sometimes that's exactly how it goes. We have, some, we have them ebbs and flows. We have the ups and downs. And that's just life, y'all. There's a method to your madness. There's a method to your madness. So again, the procedure. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting a text message. Hold on. Okay, so again, the procedure is the process of this thing. It's the process of it all. Trusting that God is going to continue to elevate you, uplift you. Trusting that God is going to continue to remove those strongholds off your life. Trusting that you're going to come up out of that thing, whatever it is. That's the process of it. There's a method to your madness. Let's go to the next one. Again, y'all, let me read the definition. A particular form of procedure for accomplishing or approaching something. What is the approach? It says, especially a systematic or established one. Approaching something in a systematic way. The definition for that is done or acting according to a fixed plan or system. Done. Listen, I can put a period right there. It is already done. It is already done. Yes, there's a method to this thing, but it's already done. All you're doing is walking out the word. All you're doing is walking out your faith. All you're doing is continuing to trust. But there's a method to this thing. And it's already done. 
If you receive that in your spirit, if you receive that in your heart, if you truly believe that, you will start acting on it. And guess what? Life will get just a little bit easier. You will already know it's already done. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to stress over it. You don't have to lose sleep about it. It's already done. It says the approach in a systematic way, done or acting according to a fixed plan or system. It has already been fixed. The battle is already won. God has already chose you. God has already predestined you to overcome that thing. It's already a fixed battle. So even though it looks chaotic, even though it looks confusing, even though you don't realize or know how you're going to do it, it's already fixed. It's already done. So y'all, let's go to the last thing. It says, a particular form of procedure for accomplishing or approaching something, especially a systematic or established one. God is establishing you. What does it mean to be established? Achieve permanent acceptance or recognition for. Achieve permanent acceptance or recognition for. Maybe after you come up out the mud, after you come up out the toxic relationship, after you elevate in your mind, after you figure out who you are, listen, baby, God is going to establish you. There's a process to this thing. And in the midst of you going through the process, he's establishing you. He's making a solid foundation for you. In the midst of your pieces, in the midst of your crumbs, in the midst of you trying to figure it out, he's taking your nothing and making it into something. He's taking your bare minimum and he's multiplying it. He's taking your pain and using it for your gain. The betrayal, what they did to you, what they talked about you. Listen, baby, all it did was add a fuel to the fire. There's method to your madness. Sometimes God has to put that fire under us. Sometimes God has to allow some things to happen to us. Because if he does not, we will get comfortable. We will get stagnant. We will think that everything is okay. And our lives just don't operate like that. We should always be evolving. And every time we have to step over into that new position, into that new space, into that new relationship, into that new way of thinking, there's always going to be a room for you to grow into. You're not going to go into that next space in that next place feeling like you already got it all together. No, sir, no, ma'am. That's what elevation is. When you step over into that new realm, when you step over into that new environment, when you step over into that bigger, better version of you, there's always space for you to grow. So sometimes when we get over in that new space, it feels a little bit different it feels a little bit chaotic it feel like we don't have as much control anymore because we don't but God does and all you have to do is continue to show up all you have to do is trust all you have to do is step over in faith all you have to do is show up daily and he's going to do the rest there is a method to your madness there's a method to it, regardless of how chaotic it looks, regardless of what people telling you you can and can't do, regardless of how they're saying you're never going to come up and come out, regardless of how they're saying you just like your mom, your dad, whoever the generation of curse has standed on. Listen, regardless of all these things they've spoken over your life, listen to me, you're going to come out on top. You're going to come out better. You're going to come out knowing who you are. You're going to come out being that actual generational curse breaker. You're going to come out, baby, as a new person. There's a method to this. You're carrying not only your weight, but those of those that came before you that couldn't figure it out, that couldn't get it done. You're carrying their weight, too. And so, of course, it feels heavy. Of course, it feels chaotic. Of course, you're trying to figure it out. But I promise you that in the end, A, you're going to win. God has already fixed it. A systematic way. He's already fixed it. And the moment you come in tune with that, the moment you align with that, listen, baby, establishment, foundations, bricks, unbothered, moving on, all of that. I love y'all so much. Hopefully this was not all over the place, y'all, because listen, I'm just the messenger, y'all. But I want to come and encourage you that if it looks chaotic in your life, if you feel like you're not, you don't know if you're coming or going, if you're trying to figure something out in your life and it's just not making sense, there's a method to the madness. Don't give up. See it through. 
keep pushing. Maybe you're in the thick of this thing, but it gets better, y'all. It gets better. I love y'all so, so, so much. Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.